Good afternoon. Happy Stampers. How is everybody? I'd like to welcome our live viewing audience as well as those that are watching on replay. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure you give me thumbs up and hearts if you're loving what I'm bringing you. And please put your name in capital, in all caps, and say hi and let me know where you're coming from. If you're watching on YouTube, welcome. And please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I am grateful that you are taking time out of your busy schedule today to watch our live every week diane and i bring you a live um, on each other's on each other's facebook page and youtube channel um diane posts on her channel and i post on my channel um and we collaborate bringing you different ideas every week and you know we challenge each other um on what we are bringing and this week we decided to bring you kind of play a guessing game. Yes, we have seen the new annual catalog already. So we know definitely which projects or which products are carrying over um, right into the annual catalog. However, there still may be some products that are carried over maybe to next the next holiday catalog or even the, so that would be the um, July through December catalog, or it may even be found in next year's January to June catalog. So we haven't gotten that list yet. So we're kind of playing a guessing game this week and um, kind of guessing, is it going to go or isn't it going to go? I am looking here to make sure I am live and I do not see me. So hang on just a second. Um, Okay, my phone is not cooperating. Oh, you know, I went to come on and my computer is telling me I need to do a restart. So that, you know, um, the start of today wasn't very good in my live, but I, th I think we're gonna get through this one. So let me check. I just wanna make sure that I am live and I am. Turn this down. So, hey, Diane and hi, Debbie. So Deb says, I'm all good now. Okay. Hi. Okay. I am good now. Awesome. Yeah, sometimes it takes Facebook just a little bit to catch up with me. And um, I have a tendency of just talking right away. And um, hopefully you guys caught me on live and, you know, right away and um, join me earlier um, and whatever. <laughs> So I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to talk a little bit to make sure I am on here and it looks like I'm good. So I am going to kind of um, not follow the mini catalog. Um, I am going to use the Crane of Fortune bundle. And in that bundle is some gorgeous papers. And Diane used the paper yesterday. And I'm going to tell you, I love, love, love those papers. But I find that sometimes you guys and us demonstrators only use those colors. So I thought, okay, I'm going to challenge myself. Number one, I want to think, is this going to stay or is it going to go? That's what I want you guys to answer me today. Do you think this one is going to be found in, and no cheating if you're a demonstrator, um, in the annual catalog? Do you think it's going to come out in a mini or do you think it's going to retire? So um, make a comment, say you think we're going to see it again, or do you think it's retiring and it's going to be gone? Um, and if that's the case, you guys need to get this bundle because I am loving it. Um, so I'm going to flip you around and get started here. <coughs> <coughs> I do have a little bit of a bug in my throat, and I think it's because of the pollen. It is gorgeous here today. <clears throat> We're going to hit 70 degrees. I'm hoping we hit 72. <coughs> but it's supposed to start raining about the time I get off of here. So, um, uh, like I said, I am using the Crane of Fortune bundle. And this bundle is awesome. It's got the Crane of Fortune stamp set, which is gorgeous. They are distinctive stamps. We are going to be embossing these. And I sometimes find that distinctive stamps aren't really the best sometimes to emboss, but I'm going to try it. Um, we're going to emboss 
this crane. I always want to call it a flamingo, but it's a crane. And we are going to be using the dies um, on our card. I am also using a product found on page 135. And this is the 2021 to 2023 in color shimmer vellum. Sorry, I was pointing to the glitter, glimmer paper down here. Now you get two sheets of each of the colors from the 2021-23 in color collection. This is going away and it is discounted 20% right now. So you can get this package of um, vellum for $9 and it's normally $12. So we're gonna take that away. This is the vellum. And as you can see, it is really glimmery. It has all the colors in here. So we have the pale papaya. We have the soft succulent. We have, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we have the polished pink. This pink is gorgeous. And we have the evening evergreen and the fresh freesia. And can you guys see that shimmer on there? It's just the, it's not glitter. It's a shimmer that is just gorgeous. I feel that this is, um, a vellum that you need and a vellum that you will use <clears throat> in your card making. <coughs> I am so sorry. You know, it never comes on until I start talking. <clears throat> I even had a class this morning and I, it didn't sound like that. Um, so let's get started. My color palette is I am using Pool Party as my card base and it's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Take our bone folder and go ahead and burnish that score line. And then I have a piece of regular vellum and we're going to put that on and it measures three and three quarters by five inches. I wanted a bigger reveal around the outside on this, but I did want a little bit of a softness on here um, just to soften that blue just a little bit. Then I have a piece of um, basic white that's four by five and a quarter for the inside piece of crumb cake and this is going to be um, for our crane image we're going to cut it out with our dies and then I have the piece of pale papaya shimmer vellum and we're going to cut these flowers or these um, are they ginkgo ginkgo leaves or something like that we're going to cut those out from that in the meantime I am going to grab my stamparatus um, the reason being is I want to make sure that this image is stamped well and because it's a bit larger stamp I want to um, make sure I can go over twice if I need to. So I am just going to bring this down to the outside corner. I'm going to put my stamp on there. I don't have to really hold this there but I will with my magnet. I know where I want to stamp it so do it like that. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, how annoying, huh? I am so sorry. I need to apologize. Okay, so I am grabbing our Whisper White ink and I'm going to ink this up. And you're going to see what I mean about um, our distinctive stamps. So they are made to dark to stamp darker in some areas and lighter in others. So I am hoping and praying this comes out. If this does not come out, I will just stamp it on the other side and cut it out and it will not be embossed. But I just thought, oh my gosh, this would be so gorgeous embossed in white. And as you can see, you can hardly see the wings. So I want to make sure that I have enough ink on there to emboss okay let's move that out of the side and i'll get my white embossing powder i didn't uh i already rubbed my piece of cardstock with my embossing buddy before i started okay and i am just using white embossing powder have any of you use the stamp set and embossed it just wondering what it's gonna you know i think we get some of the detail still it looks like but once we heat it i know that's going to change so this is going to get a little bit noisy 
you just want to hold your heat gun until it starts melting that those little plastic beads and then you want to move it up and you're going to see that as it heats it's going to go faster and faster because the heat is going across the paper and just like that and you know what we still did get that detail can you see that so it's a little bit lighter in some areas in here where it's a little bit lighter it's you know a little bit darker on here but that's okay so we're going to let that cool off for just a second we're going to grab our mini cut and emboss machine and while this is cooling off we are going to go ahead and cut those leaves out so let me move all this out of my way here so we can cut Okay, so we are using our plate number one, our plate number two, put on so that it's not completely to the edge. I'm placing this on my vellum, my top plate on top, just sticking it under a little bit and slapping it down. Um, that's the way I do it. Um, you may use some post-it note or some other method but that is actually how i do my cutting i'm going to lift that out and as you can see it lifts out really quickly i am going to i don't have my brush here again so i'm just going to poke some of these out most of them would probably come out when i lift it off but i do want to get those off okay now I want to see if this works you know when your die sticks in there like this you can drop it and I don't think my surface is hard enough but usually I will drop it on my surface um, or drop it on the floor and it pops right out now these should most of them should come out as I pull this off gently oh a lot of them aren't coming off so let me go in and poke them before I pull it all the way off um using your brush and our foam mat makes this process really easy but i have it in my drawer i just don't feel like bending over and getting it get these out of here got one there i think we're okay go ahead and lift these out now this does cut and then it also embosses some of the leaves now see how it it has embossed those and given you those indentations. Now, I do have a couple pieces that have not come out. So let's just poke those out real quick while we're here. Okay, so now we're going to cut our crane out. Let me clear all that off. Bring in my cutting machine now. Once again, we are going to go with plate number one. Plate number two and another number two. Now this um, stamp set and dies do fit this mini machine well. Okay, now this I feel is going to move a little bit. So I am using going to use one post-it note to hold it on just like that. Okay, I'm still going to push it in and slap it down and hold it because that's really what's going to hold that die <coughs> in place <coughs> oh my <coughs> we were watching um our neighbors having a tree cut down and we were outside watching that it was talking and my throat was fine and my voice was fine i don't know why it does that when i come on live there we go so cut that out perfect we'll move all this out of the way okay let's get our card base now remember i said we are going to um put this on and i'm actually going to have this go up here and uh, our crane is going to go right here. <coughs> oh 
my gosh, I am so sorry. Let me grab a drink. So Marjorie says it's sunny but cool camelopes. Ooh. So, hey, Janet, how are you? And Diane and Debbie. Welcome to all of you. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. And I still want to add some things to my vellum. But I want to do it on while well, it's attached. So I just want to kind of see where my images are going to go. And I am going to put some words. We might put this this way. You know, I have a tendency of putting words on this side. So what I want is I want this image here, um, which reminds me of bamboos. Um, and I want some white vellum leaves. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to take a pencil. I thought I took one out here. Hang on just a second. Get one of my pencils out. And I am not going to mark the outside. So I'm, I know I want it about in here you know it's going to be kind of if you are i put it anyways so i am just going to make a couple tick marks where the outside of my flowers are i don't want to outline it because i don't want to see these marks so the pencil will hide it i may even emboss right over there Okay, so I know, and can you guys see that? I know that when I place my, it's hard to see my, that's how light these are. Um, so I am going to take my liquid glue and I am going to place it underneath there. I'm just going to go right up the center. Okay, I forgot to prime my liquid glue. I was using it the other night or the other day and it, kind of petered out on me. So, oh my gosh. Okay. What to do when that happens? Panic bill. No, we're going to tap this. Get that glue out of that lid. And we're going to suck it off my finger. So I squeeze it. And then I let it suck it in. And we're going to do the same thing to that blob that just happened on my card. No, it didn't ruin my card. I'm not worried about it at all. Let me just lift this. I have to be careful. My fingers are all full of glue. So I'm just going to take it. I'm going to squeeze it and suck it in. Tap it. Squeeze it and suck it in. Can you see it sucking it in? Yeah, we all know how to suck it in, right? We put our swimsuits on, and what do we do? We suck in our bellies. Same thing. Okay, let's get this. Let me get most of it up. And there we go. Okay, this little bit, I'm going to put it on my finger, and same thing. I'm going to suck it up. Yeah. I like to save as much of the glue as I can. Okay, I'm going to get a baby wipe and see if I can clean off my fingers enough to continue without getting glue all over. Okay, I'm going to close this side up. I'm going to clean that off. And I'm actually going to go to the wide side. And the reason I'm going to the wide side is I want to spread this a little bit now that I've got it all over here. And I am just going to. I'm kind of skimming it up, getting that up. And it's not going to show, so don't, no panic here. Okay. So this is going to go on right here. And I'm just going to rub that down. And by rubbing it, it's spreading that glue out, and you're not even going to see it. You might see that because it's from my fingers. Oh, it's one thing about this glue. It sticks, right? Okay, so now we are going to want to, um, I'm going to use my embossing buddy. You guys can use talcum powder and a sock. I just have got this, so I use it. Okay, so I want these leaves to go on the outside of those floral images. 
And this is just going to help fill out that background. And remember, we want to do odd numbers. Okay, and this one, I think we're going to have come out here. Like I said, I'm planning on putting some words down there. Okay, let's get our embossing powder in our tray again. And the reason why I attach the vellum to my card before I embossed is because the vellum has a tendency of curling up a little bit and this helps hold it flat. Okay, let's just dump that right down. Tap it. We're good. If you don't have a tray, you can use a coffee filter. Let's keep this. Once again, just going from the side. And look how quickly that happens because the heat is going across the card. Okay. You know, I was just thinking I could have tore the edges of this vellum. Um, and that would have worked too. So, we know we want to put this right like here. So all these large spots is where we are going to put our glue. And I don't worry about doing the end and now being careful because I know that I just sucked up all that glue. So that glue is going to be real close to the top here. So we need to be careful. I just think that these are gorgeous. And there's so many other sets in the catalog that we have currently, as well as sets um, from the past that would go beautifully with this um, bundle. So I'm just going to hold this. If you have any of our oriental type stamps, I know years ago we had a fan, um, and I think that would be gorgeous is having these come up and having the big fan right down here. Okay, so that is, I feel like it's use the back of this just to press that down and that is on there okay so we're going to use the um, put our crane on here and we are going to put our crane on with um, Stampin' Dimensionals I am going to use the large and the minis I don't have many large left here on this one but we'll use what I have and once again you guys um, I use lots and lots of dimensionals you know they're cheap um or not cheap they're inexpensive i should say not cheap um and so why not if you want your you know your images or your your mats sticking up with dimension use those dimensionals okay here we go yeah that um that pale papaya is gorgeous with this, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna go down here. I am going to have to cut one of these minis in half. Not very often that I have to do that. Let me grab my snips here, pull this one off. Just because those legs are so thin, um, a half will do. Let's get our take your pick tool. Pull that mini on and just right on that foot. Or, 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 or that foot, claws, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Marilyn. Oh, hey, Kay, hi. Hey, it's okay if you're late. Um, we just uh, appreciate you coming on and watching and joining us. And, uh, you know, so it looks like nobody, nobody has this. Oh my gosh, I know Diane has used this one quite a bit. Um, I have used it, not as much um, as I hoped, but I am in the process of making a gift for a friend who's getting married. I am going to trim this one. I think it's just a smidge too big. Um, so I am doing thank you cards, actually, with this set for her. So I'm using our note cards and envelopes and doing some thank you cards. 
So I am so um, I'm looking at this and I am thinking I should have added a couple more. And I may add a couple more of the leaves when we get off. Okay. Um, the embossed leaves. I think they look too much in a row. I think they should have been scattered a little bit, but I can add some more to add that effect once I get my crane on here. Okay, we're just going to put that right here. And we're actually going to, ooh, one of those little, right down here, got a toenail hanging out. No, actually, it's a dimensional, but it looks like a toenail. So we're just clipping that. Let's stick this right over here. So I want to cover that beginning of the stem. Okay. This one sticks out a little bit. So what I'm going to do while you guys are on here, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to stamp another leaf there. So you can see how I do that. I'm going to go ahead and take my embossing body once again. And so what I'm going to do is I've got that stamped up, inked up. I am going to take the ink off the bottom portion here. Okay. And I am going to place that right up here. So it overlaps those other two. And because I'm doing this one, that's going to make an even number. And you know what? I think I'm going to leave that one unembossed. So it's going to take a little bit for it to dry. I'm not going to ink that up quite as far. Just partially add, and I'm going to add another one right up here. And by not embossing those two, they are going to be like they're in the background more. I'm going to do two more. I kind of like that. I, I like the fuller effect. And I like they're in the background. Let's do this one right up here. Get that ink off of there. And right up like that. I think that's good. One more down here. Oh, I could just keep adding them. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, that's enough. That'll take a little bit to dry, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do the verse. I think I am going to do the verse on um, Pool Party, and I think I'm going to emboss it. So I'm just going to grab a piece here, grab my saying, and I think I'm going to do Wishing a Lifetime of Happiness and a World Full of Love. So that is this one right here. So that is a long verse. So we're going to stamp it along there. Let's get our block. Ink it up with the white because we are going to embossing it, be embossing it. Put it right up here. And I am guessing I'm going to be fussy cutting around it. I could do this in pale papaya too, but I want that pale papaya accent just there. Okay, let's hope. I got enough ink on here. If not, we'll be doing it a second time. Oh, enough ink. Awesome. And watch it appear. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to fussy cut this, but I'm not going to make it real whimsical. I am going to make it more on the straight side. Cut that off here. So Kate just got this. Oh, Kate, you're going to love playing with it. It's a gorgeous bundle. The whole suite is gorgeous. But like I said in the beginning, I wanted to use something that wasn't um, in the catalog. Let's go with a different color combination um, because we can make gorgeous cards um, with the designer series paper and with the colors that they, rec that they have suggested, but we can make gorgeous cards um, using different colors. So I am going to put this right here and we are going to raise it also and it kind of folds forward. Now we've got these edges. Guess what? We're going to use this. 
so I think to here we'll get that center down and all the way to this edge and we don't want to go all the way to the edge here because it's going to be resting on his legs so get that and you know i could back it with white which i think i'm going to so let me get a strip of white basic white here and it's okay i've added that dimension because that is going to be standing up and the white will be sitting flat so we're just going to go right around here i just think it's going to help highlight that off of the vellum okay let's go right across there and right around just like that i think this needs to be trimmed a little bit more up here not quite so much white showing and around that there i like that better i'm going to go ahead and put some glue Okay, and I am going to slip this under so that only the blue is raised there. And it's very, very slight. Okay, this has got to come up. Let's lift it up just a little bit because I don't want to go off the card. Okay, where is that stuck to? Okay, hang on. I got to get that leg kind of above that. There we go. Let's get it on there. See, I need to do just a little bit of trimming right here. Being careful not to cut my vellum. Okay, so that's the front of the card. The inside of the card, we're going to go ahead and stamp. And I am going to stamp the words, um, much luck and good fortune on the inside. But I am going to be using the pool party ink for the inside. It's very unusual that I use two color, colors of ink. But I want to stick with my color combination. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there and just hold it. There we go. Now, for those leaves, I am going to clean off my stamp. And I am going to add a couple of pale papaya leaves on the inside. And I want these soft. So let me grab a piece of scratch paper here. And see how dark it comes up in first generation because I did just re-ink this. Okay, I think I'm gonna do second generation like that. And a second one, and then I'm gonna do first generation, a third one. So that one is in front and it just adds a little bit of a like a bouquet on that side of the words. For the inside of my card oh so next week we are going to be creating with the new in colors so you're definitely want to watch us next week and see what we come up with and i think we are going to create with a product that's not retiring so not new product yet just new in colors so there's the inside of my card and the front of the card using colors that are different from the designer series paper so so you like the white behind awesome thanks kate okay so i hope you guys enjoy today and you know i love always love visiting with all you guys and love it when you come um on with me and talk so i'm just trying to see if anybody had any questions um awesome
So thanks a lot for the thumbs up and the hearts, and we will see you guys next time. So until next time, happy stamping, everybody. Bye-bye.